Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have had this product for quite some time and I am very excited to show this to you guys, to review it for you and so we can kind of have a look at it together. I have seen some videos about this product. So this is the, whoop, the matte, 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 long lasting lip gloss. And I have to say that confused me having to be a matte lip gloss because in my brain lip glosses are shiny. So today we have a matte lip gloss. The structure of this is very good. It's it's a nice product, I have to say. I do like the design of it. It does look kind of classy and it looks nice. I do appreciate the packaging quite a lot. So they say here at the back, it is a long-lasting creamy lip gloss for velvet matte lips. And it does not dry out the lips and it has a high coverage as well. We'll see how all five of them kind of pan out and how they look. So the first one we're going to be trying is this very nice light pink like a dusty rose color and the name of this one is number one la vieste belle so this one is a i'd say this is like all over nice color that you can use every day they have a very nice strong cupcake vanilla smell to them so this one feels very nice they do feel very nice and velvety which is very very good so this is the hand swatch from La Vieste Belle, the first little like pink lip gloss or matte lip gloss. <laughs> so let's put it on and see how it looks on the lips. Okay, so first of all, starting to apply this, it applies very nicely. It is very nice and soft and smooth. Um, there is a little bit of streaking that I'm seeing on my lips, not complete cover or pigment coverage on the lips but let's complete the top lip and see how everything turns out and there we go this is our first color la vieste belle and this is how she looks on the lips i think this is a very i don't want to say shocking because it's still a pastel but it's a bright pastel color that you can use every day I don't think it really goes with my orange eyes for today but it is a very nice lip color it's very nice and natural so let's move on to number two so again this is a matte 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 and this one has a bit more of a brownie sandy kind of nudie color um her name is beauty approved I don't know if you guys can see this with my camera but her name is Beauty Approved and this one is, like I said, a brownie, sandy kind of color. So let me swatch this one on my hand and then we can compare them. So this one, I have to say, is quite a nice color. So this is Beauty Approved and this one you can see is definitely like a... A browner color in comparison with the first one so let's have a look at how this one looks on the lips so this is beauty approved on my lips and this is how this one turned out um, I think this one would go more with my look that I have today because it's a little bit more of an orange brown look This one is a little bit more natural almost the same color as my lips and this one has exactly the same smell That sweet cupcakey smell and I have to say when I remove them. They do taste very sweet Maybe that's a bonus. Maybe that's a bad thing pigment payoff was better than the first one It wasn't as streaky but I did have to go in with kind of like second layer to kind of just pump up the pigment. So this is number three and this one is almost like a rosy blushy color and her name is Girl of Today. So this one I am very excited about to see the color of this one. Um, I'm having like a rose goldy color in mind. 
so here is a girl of today so this one we can see it's definitely a red pinky darker color than any of the other two so we're definitely getting a wide variety of colors so let's see how this one looks on the lips So here is girl of today, definitely not the best application, <laughs> but this one does look good. I did have a complete different idea of how this one would look. I'm on the fence about this one. I feel like I thought it would be something else than it is. Um, it's not bad. I don't hate it. I would actually do a combo with this one. Um, with the first color kind of mixing the two of them together to create something a little bit different but it's a good color and the pigment is very very good I'm very surprised by the pigment payoff from the girl of today lip gloss so let's get on to number four so this is how she looks so she's like a cherry red happy red color if I can explain it like this and her name is ready set impress it's a beautiful beautiful red it's a little bit more watery in comparison to the others that we've tried this one is a little bit watery and not as opaque in pigment as the others so I'm very curious to see how it's going to look on the lips and what's going to be the color we're going to get there. So let's see how this one looks. Woo! Check out this application. So this is number four, Ready, Set, Impress. And I am impressed by this one, even though it is a little bit more watery than the other three that we tried. The color pigment is still very, very good and it's a nice payoff that we're getting from this color, even though it is a little bit lighter. I do like the color, it's like a cherry raspberry red, rather than that very deep cold red, like ruby woo if I can explain it. So this one is a little bit more of a cherry red, which I do like as well. It's very nice color, very good pigment payoff as well. So let's go on to number five. And now for our last color, it is this pretty color right here. And her name is Simply Be an Icon. So this one is almost like a dirty red, burgundy, slightly plummy kind of color. And it seems like this one has that thick velvety color back again. So it's not as watery as the previous one. Oh, I'm going to swatch this. So here on the side is simply be an icon. And this one is a darker red than the previous one. It's almost like a deeper, like I said, plummy, burnt red, dirty red color. So let's have a look at how Simply Be an Icon looks on the lips. So this is the last color, Simply Be an Icon, and this is how she looks on. Don't know how often I'd wear this one, <laughs> just because it's not really a color that I tend to gravitate towards. I feel sometimes it makes my skin or me look more harsh. I do like the color again the pigment is crazy it's very very good and it's not drying at all on the skin like any other liquid lipsticks. So I really like this color as well it's very very good. So now it's time to give our final thought. So I do like the color variations that they're given here. I think it is very versatile and a lot of people can use these colors. So my two favorite colors is La Vieste Bal and then Beauty Approved. They have very good pigment. So if you're wanting to purchase a product that's not super expensive, but you still want that good pigment, good quality, I definitely say you can have a look at these. So these are the little girls all together. I love them. And that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
So please leave a comment down below if you would like me to do more of these lip swatches, any more makeup videos similar to this. Please let me know and also give this video a big thumbs up. And also if you could please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Um, it is absolutely for free, so you can just click the subscribe button. So thank you guys so much for watching and you can also follow me on my social media pages, which is Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat and I will link all... Why is this so difficult? I will leave all the links and my usernames down below for you to find me. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time.